All right, ladies. So welcome to part two of the Google Sheets Let's Go Shopping task. Um, what we're going to do in this tutorial is talk about um, the formulas that we're going to use to uh, continue with this document. So by this stage, you would have already come up with your shopping list uh, and you would have formatted the cells so that they show that they're money or, or currency or Australian currency in our, in our case. What we're now going to do is that I'm going to show you how to use these formulas uh, to complete the next part of the sheet. So what's going to happen is that we need to find out what the total cost of our shopping is going to be. Uh, and at the moment, uh, we've got like some items here and we, it says he use Formula One. So um, let me show you this. What happens is that in, in spreadsheets, whenever you want to give um, the spreadsheet an instruction to calculate something or work out something, you've got to use like a little bit of computer code for it. So the way we use a bit of code for this is that in the cell, if you type the equals sign, um, the um, a spreadsheet thinks to itself, right, you're going to tell me to do something. Now we're going to also put a bit of a code word in there, which is sum. Now sum means to add things together. So what we're going to do is we're going to go equals and then we're going to type in sum then we're gonna put a bracket, and then we're gonna tell the spreadsheet, here are the cells that I want to add up, and then we're gonna close the bracket. So let me go over to my iPad now, and you can see here that I've got Arnott Shapes, $3.21, I've got the Mars Bar Share Pack, which is $5, and I'm just gonna leave a couple of empty cells here in case I add some of the stuff. Uh, and I'm simply, the first thing I wanna do is label this cell over here with um, total cost because I need to find out what my total cost of my shopping is so far. Uh, I wanna say total cost, and I'm even gonna move the text by uh, moving it to the side there so that it sticks out a bit more. And now in this cell, I'm gonna add up $3.21 plus $5. Now you can use your brain to do this, or you could use a calculator to do this, but we're gonna use a spreadsheet because it's got some really cool benefits later on. So remember, in order to do this, I've gotta type the equals sign, so I'm gonna type equals, and then I'm gonna type in the code word SUM, S-U-M, and then I need to put a bracket. And once I've done that, um, the spreadsheet is now waiting for me to tell it what I wanna add up. So I'm gonna select the $3.21, and really the spreadsheet doesn't know that I'm selecting $3.21, it just goes you're selecting cell B4. So I'm gonna select cell B4, and you can see that it's come up in my values. And in fact, I'm just gonna drag that little thing all the way, and I'm gonna add a couple extra like that. So basically what it's gonna do, this formula is gonna add up anything that is in cell B4, B5, B6, and in this case, B7. Uh, I then need to add, oops, I pressed the wrong button, let's delete that. I then need to finish this off by adding my um, bracket. So I wanna get rid of that extra comma, I don't need that one. Add the bracket and have a look at what happens when I press return on the iPad now. So I'll, I'll press return, I'll say three, two, one, then press return. I want you to have a look at what happens to the total cost. So let's go return, three, two, one. It's automatically added it up. Now what's really cool about this, remember that I told this cell, I gave it a formula and I said, all I want you to do is add up whatever's in there. So what's cool is that if I go over here now and I say, well, I wanna get some ice cream and I'm just making up the figure, I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but let's just pretend that ice cream is worth $4.72. So I'm just gonna put $4.72. What I want you to do, uh, check now, is that when I press return, it's going to automatically format the 4.72 into dollars, because that's what we've told it to do, and have a look at the total cost, because it will automatically add it up for us as well. So here we go, three, two, one, and look at that. It's formatted the $4.72, and it's also added it all up, so it now knows that I've got $12.93. I'm just gonna add up one extra thing. I'm gonna buy some sausages for this party, and I'm gonna buy a whole stack of them, so let's buy, I don't know, $12 worth of sausages. Same thing, when I press enter, have a look at what happens to my total cost. Three, two, one, and it's formatted the $12, and it adds it up. So the cool thing about these formulas is that they do it automatically. Now let's go back to the document because the next thing is that we also have to work out how much money we've got left from our original budget of $150. And to do that, we're gonna use another formula. 
basically we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna tell the spreadsheet, I want you to, to work out how much money I've got and then work out how much money I've spent and then work out a little formula for that. And this is really simple as well. So what I'm gonna do now is on the next cell underneath it, I'm gonna go, how much um, do I have left? All right, how much is left? So how much, oops, how much is left of my shopping money? So remember that originally I had $150. I now need to find out how much is left. Um, let's press return. And um, what, uh, what I can do is once again, I can get a calculator and say 150 minus the total cost. So I can go 150 minus the total cost. But instead of doing that, I'm gonna give this a formula. And my formula is gonna be um, cell B1 minus cell B9. How much money I've got and how much I've already spent. So let's do that. We're gonna go equals, uh, double tap to activate it, press equals. I'm gonna put a bracket in there. And, I'm, and this time, I'm simply gonna just tap the cells I need. So I wanna tap cell um, B1, which has my total shopping money. So B1, and you can see that it says FX um, down on the, where the cursor is because FX stands for function. We're, we're putting a function in, it's a formula, a uh, function. Um, so we're gonna go B1 and we're gonna minus, so I'm gonna press minus and I'm gonna take away my total cost. Now you will also notice that across the, uh, just underneath where it says FX and then equals B1, you can see equals plus, minus, it's got all the little functions in there. So this time I'm just gonna press that one there, go minus, and we're gonna to say total cost, which is cell B9, and I'm gonna close the bracket, then I'm gonna press the little tick or press return, and have a look at what happens. It has now worked out that I've um, spent $24.93, and it now um, knows that I've got $125 left. Now let's pretend that instead of buying $4.72 worth of ice cream, I buy a whole stack of ice cream. So let's say I spend like $50 on ice cream. Uh, so I'm gonna tap that, I'm gonna change it, Let's go 50, oops, uh, let's make it $50. So I've bought like a couple of tubs. I'm gonna press 50. I want you to have a look at what happens to total cost and how much is left when I press return. Three, two, one. Look at that. It's automatically added up. Oops, let's tap away from there. Uh, it's automatically added up that my total cost is $70 and I've got $79 left. So that concludes part two of um, this little task. The next video is going to show you the extension task for those of you that are up for doing the extension task. So good luck with that, girls.